What's up everyone? I have a 5 voucher victory for you today in the puppy pack. And uh, if you're new to my series of 5 of a kinds, you might be asking yourself how is that even possible when the voucher is not even in the puppy pack. And the answer is, as you can see, I am playing against all the other packs. So that is how the uh, journey complete. The other half of the challenge is us actually managing to get an angler fish and getting something out of the other packs. And uh, I think actually for this start it's pretty good that we not only didn't win but didn't lose a heart either. Because we are going to hope to uh, end up in the draw pool of players going for um, Hedgehog plus Blowfish plus Skunk or like stuff like uh, Lionfish in the Puppy Pack. There are a lot of draw teams going around and uh, we are going to hope to get into the player pool of people doing that. But for now we are just going to play normally and uh, hopefully not lose or win too much. And uh, the start of the run is a little bit iffy, we ended up losing right there. But uh, we did get some pretty good level 3 mods on turn 4 which is kind of a rarity. And we also got a hatching chick. I could have maybe even taken the um, goldfish, I was going to call it a lionfish, it's not a lionfish. I could have also taken the goldfish but... I think I need the tempo at this point in the game just to make sure that I don't lose too early and thankfully the matchups have been generous so far we have gotten double draws I believe and we also have some very good level ups a level up on the hatching chick and next time we'll get a level up on the tropical fish as well here we end up facing a golden pack gamer which is actually pretty good when you don't want to lose because they don't have perfect scaling at the beginning of the game. So yeah I think we are doing pretty well so far we might even take the double puppy right here just to make sure that we have multiple outs for multiple level ups next turn. And you might be asking yourself what is that important that you need multiple level ups to, to find it. And the answer is that even if we manage to angle something out of the anglerfish, out of the other packs, it won't be scaled up. So the answer to that is that we have to scale up the shop just to get the units a little bit buffed up so we have a decent chance of winning. And to do that we are going to need a chicken. And unfortunately here we do not find the chicken on the first level but on the second one we do. So we are going to include it in the team. We are probably even going to start buffing it with both the tropical fish and the hatching check. Gold is actually a pretty decent level up as well. I think gold, chicken and stonefish might be the three best levels just because gold is going to enable easier pivots giving you multiple gold for the uh, thingy for the uh, pivot that you are going to make because we are going to make a big pivot in the future. Chicken also pretty good for that purpose because it's going to scale up the shop and make the pivot not as painful. Here I even find a lobster in the shop for a second and I was considering if I want to sell the gold for it but I don't think it's uh, it should go just yet. For now I think we're doing just fine. He says as he loses miserably to a blowfish with garlic. But I think we are still doing pretty good, especially because we managed to somehow preserve 3 hearts. So if we manage to get a little bit lucky, we will be finding some good level ups. And thankfully we do find a level up on the chicken and we also level up into a sauropod, which I think I am going to take. Sadly we didn't manage to find more copies of the gold. I sold it just because its stat line was a little bit poor and I wanted the upgraded 816 stat line of the sauropod instead. Here I think we will be winning because our opponent once again does not have the stats. Puppy pack scaling is way better than golden pack scaling after all. So yeah we are con continuing to look for the stuff that we need. Sauropod is going to help us when we have to buy chocolates or canned food because it's going to give us one gold back. Unfortunately no extra chickens, no extra level ups but I think we'll be fine regardless. Starting from next turn we can find the stuff that we need which is the lionfish and the t-rex. 
for some scaling and some draw potential. Here I'm going to freeze the chocolate, maybe give it to either a lionfish or a T-Rex instead. And uh, we actually end up finding another chicken, which is actually a pretty good target for the buff as well. We also find a T-Rex, so we have basically three of the five units that we need on the team. We're going to sell the hatching chick to make space for it, because hatching chick had a pretty bad stat line. Uh, so yeah, we're hoping to not lose. This team looks relatively weak outside of its start of battle snipes, so we end up defeating them. And we're honestly in a super good spot. The shop is scaling up with uh, plus 3 plus 3 every single turn because of the chickens. We managed to find the lionfish right there. We even find an anglerfish, which I think is a little bit too early to take. Usually on your team you want to have an anglerfish that is uh, semi leveled up so you can get double angling from uh, getting a single purchase of the anglerfish. But for now I think it's early because we are only at 4 wins. And thankfully at 4 wins we shall remain because we get a very lucky draw right there. We are fishing once again for T-Rex level ups, chicken level ups which thankfully we do get. I'm starting to think about the anglerfish right now, uh, not for any other reason but because it's scaled up so we actually have a better chance of not losing. At this point I believe we are set up so nicely that we'll get to the 50-50 shop regardless and uh, our objective should just be to not lose and thankfully we don't lose right there. We're going to look for some extra level ups, equipment as always is going to be super important. The T-Rex received the big buff on this turn, basically a plus 10, plus 10 I believe. And uh, yeah, things are coming together pretty nicely. Darren is basically playing itself at this point. Unfortunately there we do lose, so we are in a very scary spot now with uh, only one heart remaining. But we do get a level up on the Lionfish. And I believe a level 2 Lionfish with 30 attack would have drawn last round. So I think we should be drawing or winning this round especially when going up against the golden pack and yeah just barely we managed to get a draw right there because of their wolf kind of scary but once again we're getting a big stat upgrade on one of the chickens a little bit of a stat upgrade on the lionfish as well and uh, yeah honestly there's nothing really much to commentate over at this point I'm just hoping that we get beneficial matchups, we end up winning or drawing. The shop I believe is in its 30s currently, yep, you can see even tier 1 units have 30 plus stats. We are going to get either a level up on the chicken or we are going to buff up the other chicken with plus 10 plus 10, which I think either of which are decent options. Are we going to draw this time? It's kind of scary when you see a hair on the opposing team and uh, we just barely managed to draw right there which is super lucky for us. So yeah that means we need to buy some more equipment just to make sure that we are still stabilizing, we are not losing. I would love to find the T-Rex in the shop and thankfully we do. We are even going to sell the anglerfish for it just because it's that big of a stat upgrade from the 20s we went up to the 40s. Typically you don't want to be selling stuff like that, but um, when a push comes to shove you have to do what you have to do. We're going to get a level 3 chicken on this turn as well as a level 2 T-Rex and we're going to get our anglerfish back curiously enough. Which is uh, just in time actually. We might even purchase this other anglerfish now. As I said we have to set up pretty nicely for the... Uh, for the angles we want to have at least a level 2 anglerfish so we get multiple pets from every angling. For now we are just barely going to draw right there, our opponent pretty scaled up with the cat. And uh, as I said before we are not complaining with uh, draws because uh, the more draws we get the more likely we are to go into the draw pool. And uh, with a full 50-50 team at this point basically I think it's pretty likely for us to win. 
So the final challenge that this run will get to face is actually the fact that we have to play a foreign pack and uh, you can see right here we actually do manage to go up against a draw team with uh, Hedgehog plus uh, Blowfish and we actually do want that, we want to be matching up against packs that are not puppy pack because puppy pack you can pretty easily get 5 of a kind uh, regardless but when you are using the anglerfish and playing against all other packs you want to be facing like golden pack, star pack, turtle pack and uh, maybe even unicorn pack, I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video but uh, I might try this strategy once again when the unicorn pack is out and um, trying to angle uh, unicorn pack 5 but for now we are very lucky that we managed to go up against the star pack team so now we are at 9 wins and we are going to start angling from the opponent they had pretty good units that we could steal here I think I'm going to pick the toad actually I know I said it's going to be a 5 of a kind voucher and I'm passing up the voucher right there but I was hoping for a 5 of a kind toad instead because I thought it would be a little easier especially if we go up against a hedgehog plus blowfish kind of setup but yeah on the second angling we once again get a voucher so this time we're going to take that sell the t-rex and the lionfish for it i believe and uh, we're kind of in a scary spot we need to find anglerfish and ideally we want a level 3 anglerfish so that uh, we can get three angles and complete the five of a kind here i'm going to try to angle and uh, thankfully we actually do get the double angler fish that we needed so first angling is a toad and uh, here I think the better decision is for us to sell one of the toads that we have in our current team just so that we have both of the options open because a level 3 angler fish is going to give us 3 copies of whatever we find so we have both the option of going for toad or voucher and thankfully we do roll the voucher so this is the five of a kind that we'll be going for you can see it takes a little bit of thinking not to mess this up i'm a, i was also or not also i was almost about to sell a voucher and make the five of a kind voucher impossible but thankfully that was narrowly avoided and we can actually get the five of a kind voucher we can even get some extra gold by by selling the toads which is super nice i hope that we get to find some equipment on the vultures because even though it's a full 50 50 team it's kind of scary when you have no equipment and the opponent does have equipment but uh, yeah this is going to be the run i really hope you enjoyed it it took a lot of uh, thought process to, <laughs> to get right but uh, uh, whatever the case i really hope that you like sub do all the generic stuff and i'll talk to you next time take care